Hello, I'm Dr. Andy Miller from Wesley Biblical Seminary. I'm so glad that you have come along for this series in the book of Jude as we work through this book this summer. These 25 verses that come right at the end of Scripture, and they are often overlooked. Nevertheless, there's a call to contend for the faith once for all delivered to the saints. And I believe this call is put here because we can indeed be people who contend. I want to look at the great benediction that comes in verses 24 and 25 of this short letter. To him who is able to keep you from stumbling and present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. Now, it's interesting to me that here he has this line. To these people who are tempted to fall away because they are being influenced by people who've infiltrated their church. They're tempted to coast in their faith, but yet he calls upon them to contend. But then he says this interesting thing. He says, now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling. Whoa, 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 that's a, that's a, Jude, come on, back, back off from this, man. It's a little too optimistic of you, don't you think? To think that people could actually be kept from stumbling. Notice too, at the very beginning of this letter, it says to those, Jude, Jude says, to those who have been called, who are loved in God the Father and kept for Jesus Christ. Now, it's interesting that we have the opportunity to be kept in such a way that we do not have to sin. I want you to know, there's never a time in your life where you have to sin. And the reason that comes is not through your own effort, but because we enter into a relationship with God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and His sanctifying grace can be at work in our life, calling us to a place where we can love Him with all of our heart, soul, and mind, and our neighbors as ourselves. And He can indeed present us before His glorious throne, in His glorious presence, without fault. Jude steps up to do this to say this because he believes it's possible that they do not have to sin. And he enters into this friendship with them because he had somebody demonstrate this type of love to him. After all, when his big brother Jesus was looking at the challenges of our world, he didn't stop. He entered in and he entered into this world. He incarnated, became flesh and dwelt among us. He went to the cross for your sins. He defeated death. He was resurrected and now he is and ascended to the right hand of the Father and now sits at the right hand of the Father interceding on our behalf. Jesus was a contender. And so Jude concludes this letter saying, you too can contend. You can contend for the faith once for all delivered to the saints and you can be a person who's kept from stumbling. And how's that happen? Why? Because God who transcends time is with us and sanctifying us and enabling us to be the people he's called us to be. And I believe for our time, that means we can be contenders. That God has called you, he's called me, he's called Wesley Biblical Seminary to contend for the faith once for all delivered to the saints.